How do you use AI to build impressive web apps? That's the topic of today's video. Before we jump into it, you know what to do. Like and share so more people can see this. So here's a platform, magicloops.dev. Anyone, if I can build web apps, you can build it too. Anyone can become a coder. Uh, you can do vibe coding. This platform is amazing. From simple text prompts in seconds, you can have functional apps. And I built something really useful for my business and social media, I'll show you in a second. Uh, again, here's a URL, magicloops.dev. Uh, if you scroll down, there's a demo here, you can watch that. Uh, there's some ideas, different apps built by other people, so you can uh, look at these for ideas. But let me log in and show you what this looks like from the inside. So here we go, a really simple dashboard, and by the way, there two things once you log into magic loops there are two things you can do so if you click here you can create loops or you can build apps so think of loops as there are workflows automated workflows that you can build they can run automatically on a different trigger or uh, on a schedule we'll cover that maybe in a separate video but today i want to talk about the app builder text to website apps or apps uh, literally in seconds. So let me click on that and I'll show you. This is what the, the interface looks like. Let me resize. I think it's just too, here you go. That looks much better. Uh, so really simple. This is where you tell Magic Loops what to build and it will start making the plan and build it for you. Here's some examples here too. Let me actually, there's something I want to build. Um, so I want to say build a web app that will change the colors of our image. I should be able to upload an image and it's a really simple, I just wanna apply some sort of filters to the image. Um, you can add, if you wanna add any images, any examples uh, for your prompt, for what you wanna build, you can do that. For now, I'm gonna do click go because I wanna show you how simple the process is. Which color transformation should the app support? Dark mode, invert, color, all of them, why not? Do you want the transfer image to be downloadable? Yes. And then that's it. It basically first kind of gave me the plan, took my input, and now it's going to create a detailed plan and then start writing the code, build the interface. Here you go. So it is literally that simple. I'm not doing anything here in my hands. You can see the code being written by this tool. So while this is getting worked, I wanted to show you how easy and simple it is. Uh, what I built earlier is actually really uh, useful for me. So once you built apps, it's gonna be under apps. So click here. And now let me show you what I built. So here is one of the things, view app. One of the things in social media is we convert tweets into Instagram carousels. Because if you have long tweets, we create images and put them on Instagram or platforms like Facebook, right? There's some paid tools for this, uh, which are expensive, or we used to use Canva. It would take us like hours to do it. But now I built a tweet, Twitter to Instagram carousel generator. So let me put some text here. So here is some text and I gotta clean it up. Uh, but once this is cleaned up, I will be able to convert that into carousel images in literally just seconds. All right, I cleaned up the data. Um, I can put my name here. So let's say Ali Mirza. This kind of appears as a branding element on these images. Then I can customize it. I can change the font, background color, all of that. And then click on generate carousel and look at this. And I made this web app, I made this tool using magic loops in probably 20, 30 seconds. Actually, it probably took longer because I, I was making some tweaks, but it was really, really fast. In just a few minutes, I was able to get this. And now I can download all of these and use it on my social media platform. If I wanna change the background colors, here you go. Let's make it green, here you go. Very simple web app. Now, to, let me go back and I wanna show you how this was built. So here's the uh, kind of the history of this. I uh, give it instructions and it kind of started building. I did make some twe uh, tweaks because I wanted to first, 
it picked some customization options, but then I wanted to add more. So I asked it to add more. And then since there's some bullet points it's recognizing, so I asked it to recognize all the bullet points. And every time I said something, it literally got it done in just few seconds. So fully functional app, I can look at the code. I felt if you wanna see the code, it's right here. If you wanna view the app, it's right here. It's fully functional. You can, here's the URL. You can start using it. Uh, I'm definitely gonna create more uh, stuff, more apps, especially for me inside social media, uh, because it is so simple. Anyone can build with magic loops. Anyone can build stuff. You can build apps, you can build loops, uh, you can do so much. All right, let me go back and let's see the tool or the app that we started building. Let's see how that's coming along. So it's right here. Um, does the app design look good to you? So this is a basic design. I can say no and I can say, make the design more modern, right? And let's see, it's gonna start working. There you go. And now it's gonna start, uh, make the design more modern. Again, I'm not doing anything. It's doing all the work for me. So let's give it a few seconds. All right, not much change in the UI, but let's actually test it. Let's see if it's actually working according to what we said. So I'm gonna upload something, uh, an image. Um, let's apply some filters. Oh, there you go, dark mode. Let's see if it's gonna invert colors, yeah. Curious scale, right? And then I can click on view app and now I can see the app. I do need to change it a bit because I think the transformation should happen before you see the image. It's kind of taking the user input and then giving you an option to do the preset filter. So maybe I need to kind of update it and give it like different command. But you can see how literally in just seconds and minutes we're able to create useful, uh, and we actually do this a lot. We take different images, uh, we turn those into, like if it's a dark mode, we change it to light mode or vice versa. Sometimes we change an image to uh, grayscale and I can also tell it to add more filter option. This is really like basic and first attempt, but I can really improve upon uh, this web app that it created in literally a few seconds. But what I showed you earlier, Twitter, to tweet to Instagram images or carousels, that is gonna be a huge time saver for us, for especially my business. Again, the platform is called Magic Loops. I'll make sure there's a link below, you can check it out, but you can build loops and we'll cover the creation of loops maybe in a separate video. And then you can also click here and start building different kind of apps. Think of different things you do in your business, things to do repeatedly, or maybe things that you already pay a SaaS for, and maybe in just a few seconds or minutes, you can create an app and you don't have to pay for those tools anymore. That's the power of uh, AI coding tool like Magic Loops. Any questions, let me know before you go like and share so more people can see this and I'll see you in this next video. Bye for now.